And that's why you need to know how to use exact match and negative keywords in Google Ads. I'm running Google Ads for my online store, but I have to admit, I'm totally lost on these match types. Could you explain the differences between exact match, phrase match, and the others? It's very tricky when you're starting out with Google Ads. Basically, match types lets you decide how closely searchers need to match your keywords for your ads to appear. Suppose you are selling sourdough starter kits. With exact match, it used to require an exact word-for-word -word match. So sourdough starter kit would only trigger the ad if typed exact Exactly that same way. No changes in order or synonyms. And phrase match? That's a bit more flexible. It allows extra words before or after your phrase like buy sourdough starter kit or sourdough starter kit for beginners. What about broad match? Broad match is much wider. It can match searches that are only loosely related. For sourdough starter kit, your ad might appear for bread recipes or sandwich ideas. I usually avoid it because it often leads to irrelevant clicks that waste money. So you recommend sticking with exact and phrase match? Actually, these days, I only use exact match. Wouldn't you miss some potential customers? Google has changed things recently. Exact match isn't as strict as it used to be. Google now interprets the intent behind the search. So targeting sourdough starter kit might also cover bread starter kit or buy sourdough starter. It's helpful, but you have to be careful. So now exact match acts more like the old phrase match? Exactly. And phrase match has become broader, almost like broad match. If Google is interpreting intent, why avoid the broader options? The issue is cost. You pay for every click even if it's not a good fit. Broader matches can lead to clicks from people who are not really interested, which drives up your cost without sales. For example, I had a client whose ads showed for unrelated terms. They ended up spending a lot on clicks that went nowhere. And what about negative keywords? Negative keywords are really useful. They help you exclude searches you don't want. For instance, if you're selling organic apple juice, you wouldn't want your ad to show for Apple electronics. So you add terms like iPhone or MacBook has negative that way, you avoid wasting money on irrelevant clicks. 